everyone, it's Mike Les. It is Wednesday, May 9th, 2018. I am near Wilmington, Ohio, and I am out in the field with Beam Precision. Uh, they are running their new Versatile 260 and their John Deere 1770 planter. They are a precision seed dealer. There's a lot of attachments on this corn planter. We're gonna get some video of it running here in the field and we're gonna go through with Michael Beam everything this planter has. We'll get a couple action shots here of the Versatile 260 and the 16 row John Deere corn planter with all the precision planting attachments. And he will move this to another field. We'll fold the planter out and then he will do a walk around of the corn planter and show us all the attachments he has on it. Okay, so we're out here with Michael Beam from Beam Precision, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his John Deere 1770 planter and the precision uh, planning attachments he has on it. So go ahead, Michael, tell us a little bit about the planter here, what you have on well, it. This is a 2003 16 row 1770 MT, and we built this one up here. With, we're running as far as the meter system on it. We've got uh, precision planning's uh, V drive system, which uses our V set back meter. And then we got our speed tube, which is a high speed attachment, goes on it. And then this is also a multi hybrid planter using uh, precision planning as an inset control, which is a new way of our single meter multi hybrid planting where we can switch back and forth as hybrid by prescription or manually as you're going across the field. And also we got a hydraulic downforce or delta force on here. Well, we'll uh, lastly, yeah. we also have uh, four smart firmers. I forgot on this. Okay, I see the yes. lights blinking down there. I'll zoom in on yes. this. Okay, you see the lights blinking. So tell us, the, tell us a little bit about that. The smart firmer will give us uh, temperature inside the furrow. It'll give us a moisture reading inside the furrow. It'll give us our organic matter and also how much residue is in the furrow. Okay. While you're planting. So on May 9th here, what is the soil temperature in uh, Ohio? This this field here, we're actually running over 80 degrees. Okay. Out planting. Yep. And the, we're actually getting close to being too dry. Okay. This is a wetter farm. We're still running most of it's in the 40 some percent, but a few of the knobs that dried out is actually getting below 30, which is getting pretty critical. Okay. But, what was the soil temperature the first day you started planting? I know we kind of got a late start here. There was here. a red 
clock saying don't do it. When we first okay. Started, when we first okay. Started, it was in the 40s. When okay. We and 50 is yeah, uh, 50 optimal. Is yeah. Want to go? We had a very cold spring that didn't warm up until just about two weeks ago. So yeah. today, when the sun finally came out, it warmed all the way up to 60 and 70. But as soon as that sun will disappear, it'll be back down below 50. Okay. About an hour right after dark. Yeah. But we're also using this smart firmer. I'm going to actually allow it to take control of the planter. And we're adjusting population, uh, the hybrid, and both liquid systems by organic matter in the field. Okay. So we're doing a little experimenting with live control of the plant. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll jump up in the cab, and you can talk a little bit about some of your controllers and what's going on up there. Thank you. Just cut her off right there. All right. Thank you. Thank you. 